Hello, my brothers and sisters. This is Bishop Robert Cox once again with another brief message for you. And today I want to talk to you about speak what you want to create in your life. Yes, you have to speak some things to create them in your life. And that a big part of what takes place in our lives starts with us. Nobody else, it starts with us. Not only with what you think, but also with what you speak. The words that you speak can bring life or death to you. The Bible, in fact, reminds us in Proverbs 18:21 that the power of life and death is in the tongue or in the words that you speak. So you must be mindful of the words that you speak because they're going to create things in your life, good or bad, based on what you speak, not somebody else, what you speak over your own life. And so if you want life to be filled with joy, peace, happiness, prosperity, then you must begin to speak words that reflect that, that reflect what you desire to have in your life. And this is something that you must do. Nobody else can do it for you. So don't look for your friend, your neighbor, your cousin, your pastor. You need to speak positive words, words of life over and into your own life. Nobody else is responsible. So stop trying to blame other people and take responsibility and make the changes that you need to make by the words you speak for your own life. Think for a moment. How many times have you sat in your life and talking to someone, oh, I'm broke? Right there, then you wonder why you lack money or you have problems financially. You have to watch what you speak. Stop saying that you're broke. You're not broke. You need to change that. Instead of saying, I'm broke, maybe you need to say something like, my finances aren't where I want them to be, but I'm striving to get my finances in a better position. As opposed to just telling people I'm broke. Oftentimes watching TV, it'll be someone, maybe a comedian, someone on TV, and he'll say, where are all the broke people? And people clap and shout, and I just shake my head. Why would you want to be broke? When God doesn't want you to be broke, stop celebrating. Being broke is not something to celebrate. You should want a prosperous, successful life, blessed financially by God. So stop speaking words that you're broke. Also, how many times have you said in your life, I can't do something. I can't do it. I just can't do it. When the Bible reminds us in Philippians 4.13, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So if you believe God's word, then you have to believe that you can do things that you didn't normally think you could do. You've got to have confidence to believe that God will give you the strength and the ability to do whatever it is you desire to do. So it's time for you not just to see the word, read the word, study it, but also to believe it and speak that you believe the word of God so it will come to pass and work in your life. Think about God. He's a great example because God in Genesis says, let there be and there was. There was power when God spoke. It created the world, the heavens, the earth, and everything else. Because when God spoke it, it came into being. And guess what, my brother and sister? You're created in the spiritual image of God. And that means your words have the power to create in your life. Hallelujah, somebody. Your words have the power to create. And so not only that, then think about Jesus. He, he curses the fig tree. There were power in the words that Jesus spoke. So that same power rests in you by the power of the Holy Ghost. So guess what? You now have a responsibility to create positive things and create life in your own life. Now it's time for you to take it into your own hands and say, you know what? I'm not going to live the same way I've been living. I'm going to speak what I want to happen in my life. And then we can even look at Jabez for a moment. Jabez goes to God in prayer. He says, I know my life is supposed to mean pain and misery, but God, I ask you to change that. So he said, I'm going to speak God to you because I know you can change it. And I'm going to have a different mindset and speak positive words in my life. And as a result, Jabez received what God had for him. So it's time for you, my brother and sister, to get rid of your excuses and realize that you have some work to do and you need to change the way that you speak in your own life. And lastly, as we're heading into this new year, head into a new year of 2023, it's time for you to say, you know what? I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to change the way I think, but I'm also going to change the way I speak so that 2023 can be the best and most prosperous year of my life as I walk with God. And so I'm going to ask you, will you pray with me for just a moment? Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray now, Father, that those that will view this video 
will understand that you are speaking to them and you want them to change what they speak, how they speak, to speak words of life and not words of death any longer so that their new year can be the most prosperous and successful year as they walk in this journey with you. I pray for them right now, Father, to receive it, claim it, hold on to it, and speak words of life in 2023. In Jesus' name, amen. This is Bishop Cox. I want to wish you a merry, merry Christmas to you and your family and a happy and prosperous 2023. God bless you. And remember, I love you, but God loves you more. And until next time, be blessed.